welcome to the brewery at Four Star Farm. Let's go have fun. Welcome to Hop Odysseys, where we're traveling around looking for breweries that make great beer, but also make a great contribution to their communities. So hop on for a beer I've never had in a place I've never been with a friend I haven't met yet. There you go. Yeah, finally, I kept it close enough. Welcome to Hop Odysseys. We've just ridden our bicycle club from Amherst, Massachusetts to Northfield. Beautiful ride. It's a beautiful spring day. I'm with Chris. He's the brewer at the brewery at Four Star Farms in Northfield, Massachusetts. Chris, this place is amazing. This is a beautiful hop farm, a beautiful building. Tell me how you got started. Yeah, you know, a couple years ago we started talking about making beer exclusive with these hops. You know, what an opportunity to bring the public here to enjoy what can be done with these hops and also what an opportunity to bring our existing farm customers, uh, other breweries that use the hops in their beers to come out here and, you know, see what we can do with those hops as well. Yeah. So I've known about the hop farm here because there's a big local, locally grown, locally produced beer and you've been you, people here have been growing hops for years now, yeah. huh? Yeah, the hop farming side has been about 12 years. And so where we're sitting right now is the original one acre hop yard. Um, so we thought it would be a good spot to put the brewery. Unfortunately, we don't have hops in this particular yard anymore, but around us we have 17 acres of hops. So um, it's expanded quite a bit over those 12 years. And you know, it's a learning curve, small hop farming, there's not a lot of it in New England, and even the hop farms that have the information and the actual resources out on the West Coast are so big, a lot of the economies of scale don't apply to a small hop farm. So steep learning curve, lots of every year there's a little improvisation, a little learning about how we get those hops to taste the way we want and how we grow them, and, you know, deal with New England weather and agriculture, you know, all those kind of exciting little adventures. Okay, here is Nate. Nate is one of the brothers that grew up on this farm and Nate will tell us about how this farm went from the family farm to a brewery and a hot beer. Sure, sure. So, you know, my, my parents, and I'm going to make you try to see if you can pan on the fly. They're actually sitting by that window right there, my parents. Um, they, they bought the farm in 1986. Um, the, the literal farm, not the proverbial farm. Hey, so my new friends are Gene and Bonnie, and lo and behold, they are the original farmers of this beautiful property. So, what's it like being here on your farm, which is now a brewery? Not, not quite original. That was 1700s. We're not that old. <laughs> but since we've been here, uh, yeah, we've tried a number of different things. Uh, we got into hops in 2008, and we got into grains about the same time. And I love to grow things, and I love to drink beer. So this is kind of in between, the middle part. <laughs> And I only pay the, I take the money in and I pay the bills. <laughs> and I support the My farm. My brother and I were, were eight and 10 at the time. So you can, you can do some quick math there to figure out how old we are now. But we grew up here. This is, this land's been in the family since then. We've been living here and farming here since then. We've gone through a few iterations. And you know, a, a dozen years ago, we were looking for some different things to do to try to diver, diversify the farm. And we figured, well, we all like beer. Let's try to grow hops. And so what kind of started on a whim on three quarters of an acre of an experimental hop yard, we actually have our brewery where you're standing right now based where that experimental hop yard was. As you tour around outside, you can see some of the relics of that old hop yard, the concrete buttresses that were the anchors. Um, but right next door are the new hop yards that we built, about 17 acres of, of hop yard. We also grow grain and, and, and some other crops here on the farm. Uh, but really, we just wanted to have a closer connection with the consumers who would be, who would be consuming our product. Um, we used to have some harvest days where we would invite our customers, brewers, to the farm to try the hops, to uh, really experience them right at harvest time. And you, know, you can only go for so long with brewers telling you, this place is amazing, you need to open a brewery here, before you begin to take them seriously. And say, all right, well, maybe we will open a brewery. And of course, there's a food truck here. And it's from Dead Horse Hill in Worcester, Massachusetts, serving up amazing food. And look at these hot sauces. Ooh, they were just great. So go to the restaurant in Worcester. You can get those there. Here's what they served us today. I was a happy lunch guy. <laughs> Next up, here we go. What's your favorite beer right now? I think the favorite beer right now is our Northfielder Pilsner. 
Um, it's a very simple recipe, but a complex beer to make. Now I'm with Liz, one of the owners who's married to Nate. Liz, tell me what you're going to do to make this community of Northfield a better place. Wow, you know, it's hard to build on what or how great Northfield already is, but we're really excited to build a gathering space for the community and for people who don't know this community to come in and really learn about the, the agricultural history that's here, wonderful shops, bed and breakfast, and things that exist here, um, and to create an opportunity for local entities to have a space to gather for meetings, um, for fundraising purposes, and just to do general good for the people that are here. You must be pretty exciting. So this is really the first weekend you're open where you can pour beer. Yeah. I remember coming in in December when you were pour opening to let people come in and have cans. I'm at the brewery at Four Star Farms and it's still COVID and it's Christmas and I feel like a little kid and under the tree, I got stickers. I got these cool glasses. Hold it. <laughs> look, right. Here, look at that cool logo. And I got beer. Pretty exciting time right now, isn't it? It's such a momentous occasion. Um, I get a little bit teary thinking about it because when we first opened Cans to Go, no one was able to taste anything but they kept coming back to buy more of the beer, which let us know that it was really tasty and great. And then even more important on this special weekend that we're opening, it was invitations to those customers who you know, first really came out in great support of us. And yeah. what better way to celebrate with great beer, great weather. Yeah, and I'd and like to say I've been here for both times and the first time wasn't great weather, but certainly today is. That's right, you can't beat it. The excitement of this opening weekend is that we have all been cooped up in our little pods for a year and everyone here has been someone biking by or someone from town or a good friend and it's been like a party. It's just a celebration of not just our opening